she's not impressed with our talent or what we can do, how we sing and how we play, or how we usher or how we clean the bathroom. All of those are services and they have this proper place, but that's not the sacrifice. That's not the sacrifice. You know, when we bring in, and, and, and you know, because we got a lot of talented people, you know, but we, we get that confused that God is in approval of our lifestyle because we can move a crowd. Or we can preach or we can teach. And we move a crowd. So when we move a crowd and people start applauding you, so now we think that God is in approval of our lifestyle. You go out and do a party all night long. And then get up and I remember, uh, what's his name? Bloomer. He testifies about it, how he used to preach high. He would get high and go to the pulpit and preach. <laughs> Preaching under the influence of a substance. And he did it well. <laughs> he did it well. Well, the Bible explains that. It's the Bible says that gifts and callings come without repentance. So just because God is using you for such a time as this to help his people doesn't mean that he's in approval of your lifestyle. And so when we look at Matthew 7, that we were talking about this uh, yesterday with some pastor friends of ours, Matthew 7 explains that too. And, and it says, and you appear before God and you said this, and I did this in your name and I did that in your name and the Bible says, turn for me, your works were that of iniquity. Meaning that your, your works were sinful. And he says, depart from me. I never knew you. And that's going to be a sad day when we appear before God and we witnessed, not witnessed, we preached and we, we you know, prophesied and we sung and praise and worship and musicians and, and we did all of these wonderful works. We're ushers, great ushers. We clean the church faithfully. But yet we get before God and God says, turn away from me. Your sins are that of iniquity. I never, I never, I never, I never.